Hello and welcome to the Virtual Groom Room. My name is Jack, your host, and today I'm bringing you another shaving video. And my choice of soap today is going to be Talbot Shaving Winter's Refraction. This is a soap that was originally released at the Northeast Wet Shavers Meetup. This was released under the name Voodoo, but he was then later to change, later forced to change the name because there was already a soap named Voodoo, and you know that's bad business practice. Talbot continue their pursuit in giving some of the proceeds from each soap to the uh, Trust for Public Land, which is fantastic. I've, I've addressed his charitable donations before, and I think that's a big reason to buy from him. Another huge reason to buy from him, and so I think he still, and consistently, regardless of the amount of formulations that have happened recently, has one of the best soap bases. The scent on this is very, very warm, uh, with notes of neroli, patchouli, bergamot, vetiver, and I think it's wiak wood, wiak wood. It creates this very warm, woody scent, perfect for winter, and almost definitely perfect fitting the, you know, the northeast freezing winters, so it makes perfect sense. I get a lot of the neroli up front, settling with like kind of the darker undertones of the wood and the vetiver. And I presume the the bergamot is added to give that, I guess, like citrusy element it has. No, it's a wonderful scent and I'm really looking forward to using that. I, of course, have the matching splash, which we're selling on Carf Shaving Co. at the moment, if you're interested. My razor of choice, I'm going to be going with the Blackline Vector today. Uh, inside this is the blade I've been using in all my videos. It's still going strong. I have a new brush in the den, so I'm going to show you this. This is a brush made from that dumb roll. I don't know what he calls this, but it just looks insane. Like, look at the detailing in the bottom here. Beautiful brush. Inside this, I have a V4 28 mil tip knot by Turn and Shave. So that's gonna be my brush of choice. Let's get to loading, and uh, we'll get to shaving them. I'm in a little bit of a time crunch today, but that shouldn't stop us too much. Let's get a decent load of this. This, this, these, honestly, the, the tips on this knot are bananas. They are very, very soft. I did a test lather with this and I was blown away with quite how soft the, the tips were. I washed the knot out completely and I thought there was still fucking um, soap because it felt so soft. Like it felt as if there was something kind of like looping it together. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, when it comes alive, you really get a lot of the neroli. I would say that for sure. And this, this not a shedding, which is kind of unique to Milton. That doesn't happen very often. Okay, I've got a load here, which should be more than enough. Let's wet the face and we'll get to lathering up. I'm coming down with a bit of a cold, which sucks, but it is what it is. I've been in Denver for a few days and it is really cold up there. Well, I mean, comparatively, it's about, in Fahrenheit, it's about 60 degrees here at the moment. Up there, it's still in the low 30s, so <laughs> that's something to Bear in mind. Wow. These tips are super soft. Giving me plenty of backbone as well. The Talbot base is really one of my favorites. It doesn't take long to lather. Although I choose to lather it for a long time, it doesn't take long to lather. Wow. 
Yeah, there's so much neroli. It, it does feel like a very warm scent. I, I know that was the intention that Chad had when making it. Probably not 60 degree <laughs> weather soap, but I honestly don't care because I really do like the scent. Just gonna keep dipping the tips here. The soap can definitely take water. There's something that's pretty unique about this is, well, the brush especially, um, that's kind of what I'm talking about. TDR, that done Rob, only makes 26 mil brushes, I believe. And uh, this one's a 28. I managed to get Milton to fit a 28 in here. His 28 tip is very, very good, I've been told, so I wanted to try it. That and the fact that he knows I'm weak and will use me as a test dummy for a lot of stuff. But I don't mind, pretty much everything he produces is very good, so I have no problems with that. He did tell me that there's a little bit of a breaking period with this. It gets a little bit softer over time, which is crazy because it's really soft. I, I really like the longer handles. I don't have any of them, but uh, I like how the bottom of the brushes don't get covered in soap. Cause that does annoy me, believe it or not. Just elbow the medicine cabinet, why not? This consistency feels good. I think we're gonna go with this. Feels very well hydrated, let's check. Yep, I think we're good there, okay. Okay, um, Black Line Vector. Not use this guy for a while, so I look forward to using this. Let's uh, go with the grain on our first pass. It doesn't feel really comfortable on the mustache. I don't know why. It's never felt really comfortable in this area for me. I think it's because my coarsest hair is around here and around my mustache. The scent strength on this is probably about a five or a six. It's 
It's not really strong, but it's present. Okay, that's a great just that. Like I said, I don't think it's, I don't think that razor is really suited to my mustache, but everywhere else it's excellent. You're always gonna find that different razors suit you in different ways. Some razors I have, like the home like or the carve, just work for me all, all over the face and the residual slickness to this is madness. By the way, I have to mention that. Pretty thin. Actually, it seems fine. I may have overhydrated it just a bit because I didn't load for as long as I normally would. Let's do this. Yeah, it is overhydrated a little bit. That's fine. Back, let me quickly go back to the park here. Okay. I'll uh, just sprinkle a bit of water in. Yeah, just oversaturate it just a bit. Not too bad, but it definitely noticeable. Just to like a little three second load on here. And uh, we'll rise rain again. So what I'm going to do here to make sure it's not dry. Let's just paint a bit of water in here on the surface. Okay, that is good for me. Let's go cross grain here with the black line vector. Very light touch. So it's excellent. Wow. The staying power of the scent is also very, very present.
These blades are genuinely incredible. I actually think I prefer them to their blades blades. Well, they last ages as well. Which, you know, isn't much of an issue because the blades are so cheap. Yeah, and then we're good. Okay, fantastic. That was an excellent shave. As expected, let's get the loose soap out. Get on the face and we'll get straight to the post. Again, loads in the rolly, which is a very warming scent. Wash the brush out quick. We're all with the time here. We're doing well. I'd like to keep this under 20 minutes if I can, so let's wash out the brush. Lost the base, and I guess we'll get to the post shave. Oh wow, great shave, much needed as well. I had about two and a half days of growth. Okay, so the post, as I showed at the start of the video, is going to be the Matching Splash, which is Winter's Refraction. The set on this is exactly the same. I wouldn't say it's very different at all. And it's made by mail, so I know it's really good stuff. Wow. Oh, man. <laughs> He's so good at implementing the scents into soaps. I get quite a lot of citrus from that, actually. A lot more of the bergamot kind of peeks its head out with that. What a shave. No stinging, nothing. Just utter bliss from the aftershave. Let me go over what I used and give you a kind of a brief synopsis of the soap, my thoughts, and we'll get going today. So, my soap, the Winter's Refraction or Voodoo, if you want to call it that, by Talbot Shaving. This gets a two thumbs up from me. Um, although, I'd say this is almost definitely a more of a wintry scent. It's, it has a level of approachability. A lot of wintry scents are quite dark. Um, a lot of people don't like a lot of wintry scents because they smell of earth really, really heavy on the vetiver. The inclusion of neroli and bergamot here kind of rounds out the scent to make it really approachable. This is a fantastic scent. I don't know if West Coast Shavings still have it in stock. If they do, I'd highly recommend you picking up a, a tub. Um, you can never go wrong with the matching splashes from Mail either. Like I said, the most well-rounded offering you can get in wet shaving at the moment. Outstanding, cannot complain. My razor of choice was a razor I've come to really enjoy, and this is the Black Lamb Vector. It's not incredibly comfortable around my mustache, but apart from that, it's a very comfortable razor to use for me. And my new brush, my That Dumb Rob slash Turn In Shave. This is the V4 28mm tip knot. I mean. So if I wet it, I'll show you, because <laughs> you can only really see when it's wet. This is what people like this knot for. Look at, that. Look at those tips. I'll do this a bit. Really, really jelly tips. Beautiful brush to use. Yeah, that's our shave today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you're new around here and haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so. I very much appreciate it. I've also reached five, 500 subscribers. I'm going to be doing a giveaway for that. Um, I'll release the video in the, next couple, in the next couple of weeks. I'm quite busy at the moment. Uh, it's going to be a pretty bad, badass giveaway. I can tell you that. It's, I can tell you that um, that much anyway. But yeah, apart from that, my name is Jack, your host from the Virgin Room. Have a wonderful day, wherever you are in the world. Goodbye for now.